Okay, so this is what it looks like. I've got my hand behind supporting, so that's what it's going to look like. And I'm just going to go, this is basically like watching paint dry, only slower. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is that's what it looks like. I'm just going to keep on going. You can completely ignore me. It's highly recommended, in fact. And uh, in a little while, I'll get all the way around. It's kind of amazing to me always how long it takes me to get all the way around. I feel like I'm making really good progress and then everything seems to come to a screeching halt. So what you want to do is, is at some point you want to switch. Well, you can make a perpendicular design that way. And start going the other direction. Also work a little bit on this line that's going around, either to tidy it up or, or not. So you know you can always you can always sort of try to go back in and do a little bit of futzing, but you have to be a little careful about it. Because a lot of times if you go in and try to futz, you end up smudging the freshness. again with the scrubby because what it does is it you know it gets some of the dark brown on top of it and then I lose the definition Rub it so much, and then uh, you will lose that definition of the edges. No, of, no, no, because oh. it's pretty deep. Oh, okay. I mean, this this got a really deep mm -hmm. application, so. Wow. You know, but it's just a. Ooh. 